History along the Space Coast as Blue Origin celebrates the first test flight of its new Glenn rocket. Liftoff happened just after two this morning from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. While the launch was near perfect, the mission didn't go perfectly. News 6's Mark Layman on the coast for the liftoff and joining us live with that update. The issue came with landing. Mark. Yeah, one of the goals was for the first stage to land so it could be reused, but uh, the, the first the uh, first stage booster missed its landing on a, a barge about 100 miles out in the Atlantic Ocean. Now, Blue Origin, however, stresses that the rocket did meet the much more important goal, and that's uh, that the test satellite reached orbit. Cheers erupting from the sands of Cocoa Beach as Blue Origin's massive 30-story New Glenn rocket lifted off overnight. It was it was beautiful to watch this big ball of the fire launching and the, and the sound. The Salomon family is vacationing from Massachusetts and used the liftoff as a learning experience for their two young children. We homeschool, so this like we're learning all the time, including at two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a lot riding on this mission. New Glenn is the first rocket developed by Blue Origin that aims to be capable of deploying satellites. The company meeting a key objective by reaching their target orbit. Wanted to experience, um, you know, three years of hard work. Everybody on our team here. Ashish Patel is part of a team that worked on New Glenn's second stage. He says he's in awe of seeing the rocket hit all of its key milestones and is excited for what all of this means for the future. I think once we're able to, you know, get to a sustainable rate, I think that's the next next key milestone for us, right? Um, and just making this making this routine. Now from here, Blue Origin will be analyzing the data it's been receiving from the spacecraft. The company hopes to launch six to eight New Glenn rockets by the end of this year. And that's if everything goes well with the next launch, which is expected to happen in the spring. For now, reporting live in Cocoa Beach, Mark Lehman getting results, New 6.